So, what are you wanting to do? What, what are your aims? What are your aspirations? I'm going to be obviously sharing and explaining more and more about myself and what I'm looking to do and what I'm looking to achieve and what motivated me and what pushed me in the past and what is motivating me now. Um, but at the same time, I want you to think within your own heart, and within your own mind, what are your reasons? Because if you haven't got a conclusive reason or your reason is not strong enough, what will happen is life itself, um, binging with regards to do with food, um, laziness with regards to do with being active or life itself so it's nothing to do with binging it's nothing to do with being lazy but life itself will just consume you you've got all these different things coming in at you all the time trying to consume you with regards to taking you away from what your objectives are with regards to do with your health and with regards to do with your aspirations of where you want to go okay and that's what impeded me and has a, it has impeded me time and time again over the years so to try and break through from this yo-yo effect the first thing you need to do, and you've probably done it time and time again, but it's to sit down or to stand up or to lie down or whatever, is, is, is to calculate in your mind, what is it that you're trying to achieve? Is it a case that you've seen a doctor uh, and you know they've said something to you? There's a medical uh, reason why you're wanting to lose weight. There's an aesthetic reason with regards to do with your own self-confidence and your well-being within yourself? Is it a reason that you're trying to achieve something and feel a lot better and a lot more confident within yourself and within your own skin? These are many, many facets and possible reasons why you may be looking to try and lose weight. But what I want you to try and do is calculate what it will take for it to become not all consuming so it becomes detrimental to you, but all consuming so it takes over those elements that are detrimental to you right now, which possibly might be binge eating, might be eating too much crisps, chocolates, snacks, too much food on your plate, not drinking enough fluids, like enough waters, nothing fresh, not having fresh food, um, not setting aside time to rest properly, not setting aside time to, to look at trying to do physical activities in whatever shape or form. So look at that. Let it begin to become, what would it take for, for this to become consuming to you? Don't let it be something that is a life-threatening um, a life-threatening kind of disease or, or circumstance where the doctor or the GP or the hospital or, or something is, is, is coming onto you and forcing itself onto you because trying to train, trying to lose weight like that is so scary and so fearful and I, I, I seriously, seriously feel sorry for people that have to go through that. Seriously, it's, it must be the most awful thing. And I'm going to be able to share something that happened to me that really forced me to say, okay, let's do this YouTube channel. Whatever happens, whether it turns out this way or that way. And it's all to do with obviously visiting the GP and uh, a specialist and trying to find out what, what was going on with myself and with my own body on two or three occasions. And then the other, the other thing that kind of started me off on this journey initially was the birth of my daughter. And that was like seven years back. And I achieved a massive, massive amount of loss, uh, uh, of weight loss, and then put it all back on later on in, in the later years. And this is what we do. And that's what I said to you, it's a lifestyle. So I really want you to think on those elements and then begin to hear what my story is and how and what I done to try and change everything around me. So it became consuming the, my, my life with regards to do with health, fitness, diet, uh, mindset and what I've done time and time again but will help increase those elements to begin to try and begin to be more consistent and for them to be uh, sustainable because many times we can achieve something for six months three months but it's, it's trying to take it to a point where you're going in like where I am now I'm going on to two years now yes I've had ups and downs but I've continued I have not I've not stopped, I've, I've just not, I've relented, I've just carried on and on and on. And this is the best I've ever done. Many of you might be thinking, what's this guy talking about? Is that, is that it? That's, that, that's as far as you've got? Yes, that is as far as I've got, but I want it to continue. And others might be thinking, wow, I wish I could just get to that point. I guarantee you can, okay? And that's, and that's what this channel's for. It's for people like who are thinking how. 
and why and when should I and how do I? So just go and do it. Just do it already. So just keep on keeping on, keep on watching, keep on subscribing, keep on liking, keep on in you know intermingling with other people within the community and so forth. And thank you so much for your support. And I look forward to speaking to you again shortly. Take care. Bye-bye.